Hi, my name is Alexis Guerreros. I'm a business consultant. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the first mover strategy. Now there are some pros and cons to being the first mover. Really what that means is the first one to do something. The first one to be involved in a specific market, maybe come out with a new technology, or just create something. Now being the first gives you a lot of advantages. One, all the users are going to come to you. Two, you're going to have all the technological advantage. Basically meaning, well, you created the product, so if there's any type of technology that you've created to create that product or that you need, you're going to be able to attain all of that first. And one, obviously, you're going to have the advantage of the experience. So you're going to learn along the way. The problem with it could be others are learning the same time you're learning. So any mistakes you might have made along the way, the person who comes in second or next isn't going to have to make those mistakes. They already understand exactly what the users are looking for. They understand what exactly it is you do and what advantages they may have over you. And also, they're going to know exactly where to go to get exactly what you're doing. So all the mistakes you've made along the way, they've watched. The big problem that comes in from not being the first mover or the second mover is going to be the users. There's going to be a specific type of cost involved in trying to get users to switch from them to you or vice versa. Something to keep in mind when you're considering whether you want to enter the market first or really adapt on something that's already been done. Good luck out there on that market, though.